SRS 15T portable washing system. We have at the front of the trailer here a V8 Ford LP gas powered turns hydraulic pump hydraulic drive motors on the augers on the conveyor and on the collector here we also have some pumps that are hydraulic powered part of the unit is also electrical powered power comes in through here Hopper on top of the trailer is where the product is input. Once it goes through the filtration system, this is your clean product. This is the opposite side of the unit. We'll more further describe the cleaning process. You have a hot water system, boiler system, all the way at the end over there that heats up. Glycol mix goes through the exchanger, heat exchanger, right here. This is a closed loop heat system through the boiler. You have a cold water holding tank, feeds through a pump, goes through the exchanger. comes back through to the top of the holding tank. Right above this hose is the, hot, or is the cold water input valve. And at the bottom of the tank is a drain valve. You have the cold water going through the trash pump or recirculating pump going up into the in injectors. That's a series of injectors you can see back here, the rubber hoses. And here we have the discharge. When the water comes from the discharge, goes over to these series of clarifying units. First, first to four stage clarifying unit all the way at the end. From there it has a series of baffles. It goes to this unit. Also has a series of baffles. All the heart large sediment falls to the bottom. This is a little better bird's eye view of the clarifying system. This would be in the primary. This is the input chamber. A series of baffles go in these grooves to keep the uh, soil water mix from being agitated. Then the water separates through these series of holes. goes through this drain then immediately below this is the aforementioned second it has a chamber at the end which discharges directly into the third unit this being the primary most of your sediment will be removed from this one that's why it has a large chamber here to clean the sediment out The other two have smaller ones. In this stair step progression, it's all gravity fed, the water that separates and rises to the top. From these one, two, three units is the fourth part of the clarifying system. We will 
go around and show you that next. This is the aforementioned trough from chamber two, which gravity feeds into this part of chamber three. Then the final process from chamber three comes here and goes into the final filtration system, which would be part four of the clarifying system. Well, this is part four of the clarifying system. It's a dual chambered filtration system so that um, one filter can be changed while the system is still in operation. You have valves on each side of it there. And the water leaves there and goes back into the system. These are the aforementioned hydraulic dries for the dual augers. Then here is the skimmer. When the pollutants float to the top, they adhere to the belt. Goes around the skimmer and is scraped off into that chamber. Which then drains on the outside of the unit. This is where the liquefied petroleum is input into the system. It tees off and feeds the aforementioned Ford V8 and it goes into this vaporizer and is piped back to the main burner. Then this is the main burner. It's a power flame which operates the boiler. Then in addition to providing LP to the power flame burner, LP burns in the thermal oxidizer unit, which burns the vapors. This is vapor collection unit at the top of the auger chamber. Vapors are sucked through this piping by means of this blower then they go into the thermal oxidizer this is a valve bank for conveyors and pumps electric drive controls for the hose pumps You have a pH meter to ensure that you have the proper combination of water and detergent. And these are the controls for the main burner. The unit does come with an extra burner. We also have a variety of connecting hoses and pipe connectors and valves.